Welcome to the channel, Painting the Patoot here, and this is going to be something a little bit different in that I'm doing a foursome. <laughs> and what I mean by a foursome is I'm actually, this run, which is going to be a little bit longer than normal, um, is going to be four different tasks combined into one run on streets at night. So um, the first task is called revision and it's required to um, locate uh, three Strider uh, armored vehicles on the streets map. Uh, this map is available from uh, the Tarkov wiki and if you just search on streets and there's a number of maps but I like this one the best because it actually shows you the location of the various tasks here. These little symbols are the um, location of the requirement. So if I go here to the quests, and I go down to the one I just mentioned, which is revision, I just have to find it here. Uh, sorry, that's the address. Go down here, and revision. So you can see here for revision, this little M symbol is going to show you where the uh, vehicles are. So. Um, Here's the first one, which is near the cinema. The next one is over here. This is near an old extract, but now that they've opened up this part of the map, the extraction is over there. But this is towards the Concord Hotel, and this is the food store here. Uh, this is the Lexus dealership in here, so there is the other one. And then the final strider is all the way up here near the Pinewood Hotel. So that was the one task that I'm doing. Now the other task that I've added to it is called, um, what is it, Spicy Sausage, and I'm just looking for it here in the list, Delicious Sausage, that's what it is, and you can see here with Delicious Sausage, here's the kind of H symbol, so you have to find that on the map, but basically it's here in Concordia, there's a little grocery store there. Then there's Sparja, which is a big grocery store, and we have to get in there. And then we all have to go all the way up here near Pinewood, and there's one and there's two um, are the uh, food stores. Now this is the extraction I'm going to use, so it was um, I was able to do sort of a run that allowed me to complete all these tasks. Uh, the next task I have to do is you got mail. So we'll click on the map, and it's a little mailbox. So if you go up here, and it's along Main Street, there's the mailbox right there. So we have to go into the post office. It's a little bit of hinky to get because it's a area spawn, and you have to look around in a certain area until you find a letter. Um, I'll show you where I get it in the raid, but you may not find it there in yours. And then what we have again here is um, the final task that I'm doing is the population census and right there you see the hourglass and I was actually right by it because that's here so here's the post office that I have to go to and you go into this building here behind the post office and there's a number of rooms and you just have to find it you'll have to go through it until you find this journal uh, it is a pain in the ass as you'll see when I go in uh, but that's what you have to do so I managed to get all of those uh, items completed in one raid. So I started off here in this building uh, in a clothing store. I jump out the window and run through the bushes here and I mark the first strider. Then I come back and go across here and run through the bushes here. Um, pausing to listen, run across the street down here and come over here to the next strider. And at this point, because I'm so close to the uh, Goshen Mini, where I have to mark it or just go into the, the store. I come along here, go into the building, and go into the Goshen Mini. Come out here, keep along this wall because there will be scavs uh, appearing in the collapsed crane area. But came in here in the back, went into Sparge store, and you have to wander to the near the front doors to be able for it to accept you as completing the task. At that point, I run out the front through the parking lot and come down the street here. 
uh, into this item and come over here to the population building. And I'll just make that bigger. So there's population building. It takes me a little while to find the uh, document that I need. Uh, fending off a few uh, scavs in the meantime. After that's done, I come out here and into the post office. And at that point, um, again, it takes a little looking, but I find it. Come up here, go up the road, mark the last strider, turn around and come back here. Go into the Sparger Express, fighting off a few scavs to do it. Come out here and moving along in this direction. Uh, come along here and I actually encounter a player and kill him. Go into this final store. And that's the completion of all four tasks and now I just have to live. So I come here, run through the uh, streetcar that goes down into the hole and I extract. So that's, uh, that's what I need to do and we'll just jump. The video is a little bit on the longer side, but uh, I start off at night and I'll just we'll watch it. That window used to be bugged. You had to smash the glass to get out. It was kind of bad. But here I'm doing it at night. Less players. Um, some of the um, bad guys, mostly the scavs, are a little less aggressive at night. Um, so I'm just moving along through the bushes. Yes, it's a little bit on the slow side. I apologize for that. But it's... Uh, fairly easy at that point to get through. Uh, you can see my equipment loadout. I do have suppressed uh, AK-74. But it's important along when you're moving along this way that you... Um, sorry, I'm just listening to that shooting and grenades. So you have to be careful. You want to listen because uh, that's the only way you know whether the bad guy's around. I found that the... Uh, night vision goggles are not really helping me keeping to the bushes because it is a little bit of cover but you can see ahead of me up here there's the cinema and there are uh, sniper scavs on the roof you don't always see them at night but there often is scavs coming down these stairs and going into the park and in this area and of course you'll see while I'm doing this one that I do and see a scav and I just mark this the strider and get out of there I don't want to spend time engaging a scav when I'm trying to complete a task so I'm gonna maybe move this up a little bit quicker okay so right there back just a tiny bit so you can see where the scav is or the strider is so I'm getting closer to the cinema here and I'm listening carefully just because of the possibility of players and uh, scavs so there's the strider you can see it just ahead here so I'm sneaking around trying to be a little quiet and there's the strider. All I need to do is slap on a, a marker and then um, once you put them on the markers you don't have to stay in the area. You don't. You have to not die because it'll make you come back but um, yes, and there you can hear I've seen a scav but he kind of disappears so I plant and then I'm not interested in fighting him because it is, you can see, a long uh, timer, 30, almost 40 seconds. So I'm just here in case he comes down. I could get a quick kill. But I'm just hiding in the bushes until my timer expires. So that is the one here. So next I'll be moving across here and running across to go to the one here, all right? So go back here. And there, I've got it done. Subtask, you can see at the bottom there. So now I'm going to head uh, to the other location and I'll speed it up a little bit here. I just basically ran through the park. Yeah, go back a little bit. So I just came to the other end of the park. I go to the map. I'm about here right now. Getting 
close to there. You have to be very careful for players in this area. Again, to the right here is the Le Lexus building and the new boss can spawn there. He doesn't have a high priority or chance of it, but he can and he's a has that big RPK submachine gun. So he's he is um, a little tough to get. So I'm just looking to make sure I have enough markers, which I do. Only need two more. And off we go. Coming across the street. So I'm coming across here, this area, and running through this section of the buildings. Taking a quick break in a bush, looking for some bad guys. And move it ahead, and running down this street. So I'm roughly again, like I said, in this area here. Kind of got hung up there. So there's a new area that they have opened up. Didn't really want to go in there. I'm just kind of pausing to make sure I have a good listen. Very important in this game to listen for players. But I have, have run down all the way down to about here right now. So back over here and there's a strike strider head and there used to be a extraction here too but it's been moved because they opened the map up so I want to plant and now hide okay and in here into the bushes where I'm gonna wait for the timer to count down so if you go now I am roughly here right here just waiting for the timer to expire But the next move uh, for me will be to move over here to the little Gosha Mini. I kind of go through these buildings a bit because there's a lot of scavs in this area here, plus players. So there we go. The subtask is complete. So let's move me along a little bit quicker. And I've gone inside the building. I'm kind of looking for a shortcut. Um, I could probably go downstairs and go through the parking garage, but I'm kind of avoiding that a bit, but I'm going to go have a look, except for I encounter a uh, scab down here. I'm not sure. It's walking slowly. And there he is. So my skills for recoils moved up. Anyways, I'll throw a few more bullets to pack the mag so at this point I am roughly in this area here in here but I need to go over into this mini so I'm trying to figure out the best way to go because there can be scavs there and I'm just gonna go outside and run now does it sound to be too many scavs at this point and that's what I need to run to right behind that truck Vanish kind of thing. And here we go. Here's the uh, market. So the door is open. Somebody could have been in here before me. And we come in here. And there. So what that is, is Gosha Mini. So now, I'm going to come out, run along here. I hear some activity over here, so I'm going to run along this wall for some cover, but then go into Sparta. And it's about this location in Sparta where you can trigger the completion. <clears throat> so I'm having a quick look for some food uh, in case I need it. Just fruit and veg or water or something like that. Uh, there's a milk container. Okay, so I'm just gonna scoot out of here. Now I'm outside, so again, I'm roughly over about here now, so back here, and I'm going to come along this wall here to avoid being shot, and you will hear some activity to my left once I get going past this vehicle, again, stopping, listening, because there can be a lot of scabs in this area. There 
you go. You hear him. So there's at least one scav or a player. More than likely a scav. Because of the sliding. So it's kind of running back and forth. In fact, I think there was more than one in that area. So I'm just taking it easy right now. Again, I'm concerned with getting the task done more than anything else. So I'm roughly right here. There was a the vehicle. I'm here. I'm going to run along here and into the building. Back to the video. So I'm going to do a quick dash past the opening. And you can hear the scav. So and another scav. So this is the very back door of the grocery store. Right there is where I'm going in. So now I'm in the store, looking around, trying to trigger off the completion. There's a video camera that is uh, broadcast part two. You have to come mark, or run up to. But I haven't finished uh, broadcasting part one. I haven't triggered yet this location, so I'm wandering towards... There we go. So that's part two. So I've got two of the food stores. Now I'm just going to run straight ahead down the hill. Make a quick stop, just in case there's somebody in the area. Okay, back to the map. So, I've come out the front, and I'm right about here where, where you can see that uh, marker. So right about there. And what I'm going to do is come down this street, because I'm heading here for population control. Come down the street to this park and over to that building. So I'm just going to speed her up a bit down the street, because there isn't too much going on. I can hear scabs to the right, so at this point I am in this area here. Back to the video. So I'm looking out this door here, and I just need to go over here. But I can hear lots of activity. So there I am, back to the video feed. I need to get over here. Right in here. So this is population uh, census. Well, this is a little frustrating now at this part. I'll close the door for a bit of privacy. And I'm looking for this particular document. And you just have to go into every single room in here, and there's a number of them. Uh, it actually turns out to be here, but I didn't go behind the counter the first time. So I go in here, and I'm going to look on all the desks. Then you're looking for a little folder. Let's pick up some cigarettes. Again, you got to look here, you got to look on this table. Back in here, nothing, and into this room, and I don't have a key for the safe. But again, you gotta go look, you're looking for a folder. So again, over onto this table, onto this table, I'm not gonna bother looting, because I want this document. Nothing there, can't go up the front door. Another office space, so you gotta check on top of each one of these desks potentially. I always like peas because they give you both hydration and energy. Look on the shelves, look on the floor for this. Nothing. And I can hear some activity outside. So I'm going to take a just a second here to see what's going on. little bit no. go back so I heard that stuff in the bushes I'm uh, expecting some company there you can hear them getting closer there they are 
Close the door again. So I'm not really worried about what loot they have. So again, I'm looking on the table here, table there. For this document, nothing. So I'm getting a little bit frustrated here because I can't find it. I don't bother going into the to the uh, filing cabinets. I don't really. Again, I've already been in this room, so again, looking for the dot to appear. That means there's something to pick up. Nothing. Nothing. Skip just a tiny bit. Again, I've gone up to the second floor now, and again, I'm looking here, nothing, maybe a little something. Food-wise, looking on the shelf. Over here, again, there's this is more of a kitchen. So I did pick up some futons, so I got some food for energy. Again, nothing, nothing here. That's, you know. So I head back down. What the hell is this thing? Oh, I'm gonna repack a mag. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in here and I'm like, okay, well I've been in every room, where the hell is this thing? Go back in here and go, oh wait a minute, there's a counter. Hmm. Let's go around behind the counter. Well, I'm going out again, so actually is in that room behind the counter. So I'm going to clump around here, making lots of noise. Again, getting a little bit more frustrated. Can't find the damn thing. So at least I'll grab some stuff off the, off the scab boys to take. But really, it's like, okay. I can't find it. I go back in this room with the counter again. This time I go around the counter, and guess what? There it is on right there. The book. See the dot? You can tell that's there. I just want to jump over so I can grab it. There it is. So, subtask completed. And I got some bonus points for looting. All right. So that's done. So now I'm in this building. I'm going to come out here, run along here. And oops, down this street and go into the post office. That's the next thing. So, picking up a few bits and bobs off the scabby boys and having something to eat. But, anyways, I've come back out. So, again, I'm going to come out here. I'm running along here and into the post office. So the post office is going to be another thing where it can spawn anywhere in this room and it can be a pain in the ass to find, but I did check, or I will be checking the place I found it previously in the last wipe, and um, I decide to check it again. Yeah, I don't really need to be dinking around with my inventory, just deciding whether I want to keep that or not. Anyways. Right ahead of me is the door into the area with the post office. Coming out, you can see the body on the floor, and it's just near the body. But you have to look on. I'm gonna close the door here for some price. You have to look on these shelves. You got to look on the desk. On this desk, uh, I found it before beside the body on the floor, and there it is. There, the package by the bag. No, that's crackers. There's a the letter. So you see, I got. You got mail done, so I'm going to do a quick loop. And there's a better piece of armor, so I'm going to dump that and switch it. So, right now I'm here. So what I'm going to do then is run up super, oops, run up here for the next strider. So that's my next move. Is coming out of the post office, come back out of the same hole, run along here. Now I do hear some stuff uh, moving around, but I ignore them and then come across here and go market. So that's my next section here. So I just have to leave the building and I'll just go scoot it ahead a little bit. There's a pine wood across the street. I'm really 
be sitting here waiting because I do hear somebody in the area. Just checking. Again, still sitting there. All right. So basically, I was over here in this section hiding, and I ran over and marked it. So back to the video. After that, you don't have to stay like I said. So now I'm running back down here because I want to go to the spar gen. Again, it's a fairly long 40-second uh, timer on that, but I'm trying to stay in some cover. Although there you can hear a voice, so there are some scabs around here. But I'm going to walk slow enough that the timer expires, so at least... Yeah, I'm going to lay down. So at least that one's done. So the worst for revision, I would have to come back in and extract. But I got everything planted. But I'm hearing lots of movement to my left. So again, I don't really want to have to deal with scabs because I'm more concerned about getting out of the raid. You can hear multiple sets of footsteps. But I got all the vehicles marked. I got my two of the grocery stores visited. I have the letter for postal, and I got the population census, so all of that stuff I would lose if I get killed right now. So that's why I'm taking it fairly cautiously. And you can see the drawing on that truck ahead. That's where I need to go for the next little supermarket. And you'll see, yeah, right beside that truck, you see it there. It's Barja in green. I have to go in there. But well, you can see right now that a scab just came out. The bueno, bueno. So I'm going to have to d deal with a couple of boys. And one's going into the Sparja store. So. And there could be one in the pine wood, but there's a guy, and I'm going to take him in on a headshot. One shot, he's down. But that triggers another scab, and they're going to come run out of the building. One and two. So now I just want to go in here and trigger the visitation of this area. But I can hear there's somebody in here. And you can see there's a body. I don't think I killed that guy, so... Go full auto. There's somebody in here. Probably a scab. There he is. Got him. And there turns out there's another guy in here. So that's four scabs just in this area. You got to be uh, a little, a little um, concerned. But as I repack my mag, jump back to the map. So I came in here. There's the symbol, Sparja Express. So I'll go here. So I'm in here right now. I'm going to have to run across here and go into this final store. And here's my extraction that I'm going to use. So that's pretty good. I do, however, encounter a player, PMC here, but. You can see that when I'm uh, done. So back to the video, just kind of move this along a bit. Because I'm basically um, just in the store, checking the bodies for maybe something of interest. Uh, but I really want to get out of here. Not going to spend too much time looting. So I'm heading to the final, or towards the final store, but still cautious because I've got so many of the ta three tasks almost done. I do not want to get killed. So I'm taking it, but then I hear somebody coming. So I'm going to pause it here and see what's going on. Just checking. You can see the blue collapse subway train leading down into the hole there. You can just hear somebody and there he's looking and I hit him in the head. So I knew I'd heard
heard something that it, uh, there was somebody in the area and I took it easy. That's the one thing when you're playing solo, you gotta take it easy. You can't be running around like a crazy person. And there we go, we get a nice uh, little uh, scar, which is good. Really, now back to the map. I just have, right, I'm right here right now, checking the body. Maybe not the wisest thing, but I just have to go into the store and that's it. So back to the video and you don't really need to see me rifle the guy's pockets. And there we go, last grocery store. So it, like I said, is I was there with the body, went in there, and now I'm heading towards the uh, cars leading into the sewer. So I'm going to extract right here. And that's all I have left to do. Coming down into the underground for this extraction. And it's just to the right around this corner. And that will be it. Okay. So this is pretty much it. Just waiting for the... There we go. So, uh, I got 3,800 points in killing scavs. And that's it. Just waiting for it to come. But So that's what I did. I, I will often try to combine tasks into one go especially on something like either reserve or on streets because they're not uh, one of my favorite maps. So if I can combine them, I do. All right, so I hope that will help you out. I'm not sure how I'm going to publish this particular video, um, but um, it is longer, but it's, you know, it's interesting if you want to see how to do multiple tasks. Okay, thanks.